Hi everyone! Oh my god, there's so much bright sun. There's bright sun coming in my room, and the exposure is so far to the left side that it just... I, I it can't go anymore. It's... It, whatever. I just finished the, my book, like, literally, like, seconds ago. Aunt Divinity and the Wishing Well by Nancy Atherton. Can we... There we go. And literally all the stuff that happened here just is perfect perfect um and the thing that um one of the um one of my theories actually came true if you watch my previous video you will know what i was talking i'm talking about when it, that happened in this book like literally it happened i predicted it i predicted predicted it to happen it did happen and like oh my god there were, and it says here, as more and more wishes come true, the village is thrown into chaos and Laurie is forced to find out what's going on before her beloved Finch falls apart. Literally, there's all so much lovely chaos in this book. It's just, it's beautiful. I love, I'm already getting in, I'm already describing stuff before I say, I love this book. I love this book immensely and you understand how much I love these books between like, the dates of like my last antimonity book to this antimonity book. So it's like literally, it is that freaking fast that I love my antimonity book. And yes, I have my nails done. These are black, and then this is green. Eh, my thumbs are green. They are what it's called. It's um limestone. It's this, but it's all it's all the way down here. I can't get the last dregs of it. I can't. And um, yeah, it's kind of a little goopy. There's not enough that I can get out. But anyway, and I did order a new kind of limey green. I haven't ordered it yet because I don't have the money in my account, but it's on my shopping cart. Anyway. As I said, uh, one of my predictions came true, alright? When I said, at the beginning of this book right here, I said something's gonna ha I knew something's gonna happen, and I predicted it. And then the chaos is just lovely chaos. It's so much lovely chaos. I love it. It is sad. My sister came home and my dad and her are being loud. Um, and, oh, what else? I'm talking so fast because it's just my love for this book. Um. Uh, what can I, what else can I say? Um, okay. I love this chaos, and it makes me think of my friend, um, Tracy, who d puts, like, a lot of chaos and drama in her books, and she's like, I, I'm very bad to my characters, aren't I? And it just, the stuff in here, like, Nancy was so bad to her characters in the lovely village of Finch. It just reminded me of my friend, and oh my gosh, there's so much bright sun. It, it was, oh my god, it was cute and fun, and the chaos was like, oh, it's just the perfect thing that needed to happen, like, for the entire village. Not just, like, maybe one person, or, like, with Lori, or, um, it's just such a good thing to have, like, the entire village in total chaos, and just, because I can't remember the last time when this village in was in entire chaos. Um, and it has been a while. Like, um, my previous book was my first Antimonity book in a good while that I've read. As far as I remember, can remember, the entire entirety of the village, like, everyone in the village was not in, like, a chaos state. Oh, I have to be over here because so much bright light. But like this is so perfect, and it's it's big, and the only the, the thinnest book that I know, like in hardcover, is um, uh, Aunt Dimity's Christmas. That's um the thinnest hardcover book that is in my collection, and it has the awesome epic cover plate, cover art. Stop doing that, but whatever. I have a bunch of them in the covers. But anyway, you totally need to read this book. If you love chaos, if you love our lovely Finch village, and you know you love antimonity, this is definitely a book that you have to read. You have to read this book, Antimonity and the Wishing Well, and you have to get this cover. Well, this is the Canadian and I'm guessing slash American cover. Like this is for North America. I don't um, on the website it actually shows um, you what each cover design is for like different countries. Like there's one for Japan, um, Russia, I think in England as well. But anyway, this this is a beautiful cover. Even though I don't like it from the previous covers, this is still, like, the cover I would choose over other ones. Um, and I would always choose the hard cover over uh, the paperback cover. Again, this was it. Oh, and um, how you find out how these wishes come about, it is, like, it blows your mind. 
it will blow your mind if you've cut, read like these antibody books one after the other if you read it in order like like one after the other so like in the i don't know but if you read them one after the other you don't have other books in between and you don't have huge spans between like certain and between books it will make a whole lot more sense and like and right here um who uh hector huggins i'm like oh my god hector died it's like i hadn't read about him in like so long i haven't heard him in a book in like a really long time like not even the my previous uh intimidity book so like but anyway the ending of the book literally will shock and be like a mind blower. It is a great mind blower. I can't even see that. Oh my gosh. So much bright sun. But anyway, I love the bright sun. The bright sun is great. It just means like I would wake I hopefully will have more energy and I will wake up better and I will be up more because I am kinda of getting up at like I'm waking up for nine thirty but I'm not really getting out of bed till like nine forty five ish. I'm working my way up to eight o'clock. Okay. Yes I'm gonna get up at me. I'm gonna be twenty seven in October. And I'm gonna be getting up for eight o'clock. Usually at my age, you shouldn't be getting up till like nine, ten o'clock or something like that. But whatever. Anyway. Definitely recommend this book. You definitely should be reading this. It is a beautiful book. It is beautiful chaos, beautiful drama. Um, and again, with these type of books, it is all resolved in the end. It's always great. And my next book is my last Antiminity book. It is Antiminity and the Summer King by Nancy Atherton. I hope she comes out with another book this year. Because I don't know when. Like, this is my last book. This is the last book I have bought. So I haven't even opened it up. I am going to hear the cre creaking of it when I break the spine. It's just going to be awesome. Uh, this was last year's print, uh, buy book. Because I, ha I know I haven't bought anything from Aunt Dimity this year. Where's the copyright? Because the co I want the copyright year. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, this this is blue and they have yellow again here which is pretty nice the yellow and blue look really well together as well as it did with the green <laughs> oh fresh cr fresh creaking and it's like all crisp and like there's nothing ruined on it unlike with my own like there's, there's stuff in there, and it's just like, there's a nice big dent right there. Where is it? I don't know. Isn't it? I don't know. This is d damaged, and like, there's stuff along the side here. It's just, but this is nice and crisp. <laughs> anyway. It's June, the roses are in bloom, and the small illits... Illits... <laughs> and the small English village of Finch may be in big trouble. Two cottages are on the market, but something or someone seems to be driving promising buyers away. But now, after spending the past few months blissfully wrapped up with her new infant daughter. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Yay! She has a daughter now! After the two twin boys. Oh my god, that is great. Lori Shepard has taken notice. Has a delivered, delivered, developer targeted Finch? Will property value skyrocket? Will a wave of vel I can't pronounce the words right now. Will a wave of wealthy weekenders drive out the longtime locals? Is Finch doomed? No! Determined to get to the bottom of the mysterious cottage vacancies, Lori sets her sights on the local real estate agent, but finds herself sidetracked after a chance encounter with the eccentric inventor Arthur Hargreaves? Hargreaves? H A R, I know we can pronounce that Har. G R E A V E S. Hargreaves? Near his ancestral home, Hillfont Abbey. Dubbed the Summer King by his equally eccentric offspring, Arthur is as warm hearted as the summer sun. In his presence, Lori forgets her troubles and finches. But she snaps out of her happy trance when odd things begin to happen at Hillfont Abbey. She discovers detailed maps of Finch in the library, an ancient feud between Finch and the Hargreaves family come to light. Oh, an ancient feud between Hinch and the Hillgreaves family come to light. Comes to light. And then there's Arthur's connection to the local real estate, real estate firm. Is the summer king as kind as he seems? 
Or is he secretly potting... Pot. Plotting Finch's demise? With Antimenity's otherworldly help and her new daughter in her arms, Lori mounts a crusade to save her beloved Finch from the Summer King's scorching grave! No! Oh my god, this is like even more mad drama. Is this, the, this can't be the last book. Please don't let this be the last book. Oh my god, this can't be the last book in the Antimenity series. No! I'm going to be going on the website and finding out what the heck's going on. Uh, where is the copy? Copyright 2015. Yes, it was last- it was just last year. There's no month, I know that. But it was printed last year. For Chloe and Emma, who will always be my kittens. Chapter 1. There's no prologue, but there's always an epilogue. Epilogue. Where is... The chapter title? Oh, there's 23 chapter- 23 chapters and then an epilogue, so we've got 24 chapters. Which is traditionally about how long books are. But this is sad. This is very sad. Okay. Because I don't want it to end. I want to go through, like, um, how Lori goes through with her, um, a daughter now. Because she went through two boys. I want to know how she goes through with daughters. And let me get, let me get the website up. <sighs> Come on. Let's get going. Author sites. Uh, Antimity's World. Uh... Go to news. Um, it's okay. Yes, new book, new book. Okay. There's a new book coming out. It should be coming out this year. It is called Antimidity and the Buried Treasure. May 26. Yes, May 2016. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a new. Like I already have a um. A pre-order for three um, vampire books for Lindsay Sands and I know Lindsay Sands um, I think uh, Carrie Lynn Sparks I think I have one for her I know I have one for um for the Argu uh, series I know I'm not pronouncing that right but whatever just I am oh my god I am putting this on my new list of things to pre-order I gotta put in my cart on my um, Indigo Chapters Coles website thing. In that cart, I'm gonna put it there. And after I do my checks, my money stuff on Monday, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll get it before. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, boy, yeah, man, yes. I am so excited. So like every at least once a year, there is a new Antimenity book. It seems. There is a book coming out, yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm excited for the new Antimity book, cause, like it's still going, it's still going. I am so literally happy it is still going. Anyway, I will end my crazy book review here. Literally, you need, like, seriously, you have to read Antimity. Antimity is a great, great, great book. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Because part of, like, I gotta go put the book in my shopping cart. I'm gonna continue reading. Um, because I really don't, mm. yeah, I'm gonna get going. So I'll see you all in my next, um, my next video. Please leave a like if you like this video, like this little button right here. I I'm over here, and it's awkward because, no. anyway, leave a like if you like this video. Just don't, leave try not to leave spoilers. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, please hit the subscribe button up there. I think it's still up there. And, uh, you know, subscribe for more book reviews, more um, unboxing, unbagging, more hauls, more Vlogmas videos, and hopefully um, regular vlog videos. Yes, so I will see, again, I will see you all in my next video. Because <laughs> I gotta get out of the sun. <laughs> Bye, everyone.